Good morning, YouTube. It's Scott with InsideTheCurve.com. Back on their Fusion 360 uh, cam for a CNC router uh, beginner tutorial. So today we're going to show you how to actually post the code to your machine. Uh, yesterday we went through and figured out how to cut the uh, actually cut the part out. And in the previous days we've got the uh, other four or three uh, uh, operations done here. Uh, so so I'll right click up here and simulate and this will go through the whole process just make sure everything's good everything's good there okay so now what we can do is if your machine doesn't have an ATC uh, automatic tool changer you'll need to post each of these uh, codes individually uh, you can I mean if it's the same tool you can you can shift and click on these or Command on the Mac uh, command and click and then right click and uh, Post post processor And that will output both of these if these were the same tool these are different this one's a uh, regular flat end mill and this is the ball nose end mill so we can't do that so we're just going to post this one but you guys kind of get the idea uh, so post process uh, here is where you put your program uh, number in there I just keep normally keep it as default and once this posts we're going to save it to the desktop it will open up in uh, brackets if you have it installed which is a text editor uh, once this pulls up, I want to delete the uh, the tool change and the spindle speed since my uh, uh, router is all a woodworking router, not actually a true CNC spindle. So for my machine, uh, I'm just going to delete these three lines here. I don't need the tool change, I don't need the spindle speed. And there we go. So now I would save this. And then I'd go back and I can rename this and then put, I'd put this as uh, pocket roughing and then 25 EM, which the two or point two five EM, so quarter inch end mill. And that would help uh, signify which tool I need to bring in and I'd make a main folder with this whatever I want to call this part we'll just call it cam test cam test and then inside that would have each of these operations I have here on the left to kind of make everything simple once I have it out on my in my controller to drag each of these files in to run them on the CNC so hopefully that makes sense uh, I am going to cut this part out today on my CNC machine so you can kind of see what it looks like and how it all flows together uh, so hopefully you're getting something on this series, and if you are, be sure to comment and subscribe. Uh, until tomorrow, you guys have a great day. This is Scott Inside the Curve, out.